Hey, Sprouts! Today we're learning about the planets in our solar system. Let's start with the Sun. The Sun is a star that is made up of hot gases. It is the most important source of energy for life on Earth. The light of daylight comes from our Sun. When we look in the night sky, we see lots and lots of dots of light. Every one of them is a star, just like our sun. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury doesn't have any moons or rings. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun, and it is the hottest planet in our solar system. The temperature on Venus can reach 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Earth, that's where we live. Earth is the third planet from the sun, and is the only known planet to support life. Earth is the only planet that we know of that has bodies of liquid water on its surface. Seventy-one percent of our planet is covered with water. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it's also known as the red planet because of its reddish look. During the day on Mars, the sky is pinkish red, and the sunset is blue. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet out from the sun, and is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter's nickname is the gas giant because it's primarily made up of gases. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest in our solar system. Saturn is best known for its fabulous ring system. Saturn also has more moons than any other planet, with 82. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. Uranus is so far away that you need a telescope to see it. Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system. Temperature on Uranus can reach negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus is often called the ice giant. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and furthest planet from the sun. Neptune's days are very short. One day takes 16 hours. This is because Neptune is not solid, but a gas planet like Jupiter. That was so cool, Sprouts. We have some awesome planets in our solar system. What's your favorite planet in our solar system? Hey, Sprouts. Today we're taking a trip across the oceans. Around 71% of the Earth is covered in water. The major body of water is the ocean. The ocean is divided up into five major oceans: the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Let's learn more about the five oceans of the world. The Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean, and it covers around one third of the Earth's surface. It separates Asia and Australia from North and South America. The Pacific Ocean got its name from the explorer Ferdinand Magellan. He called it the Mar Pacifico, which means peaceful sea in Portuguese. The Mariana Trench is the deepest place in the world, at 35,797 feet under the Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the world's second largest ocean. It separates Europe and Africa from North and South America. The Atlantic Ocean is about half the size of the Pacific Ocean and covers about 20% of the Earth's surface. Many years ago, some people thought the Earth was flat and that ships would just fall off the Earth somewhere out in the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean gets its name from the Greeks, who called it the Sea of Atlas. The Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world. It covers 20% of the Earth's surface. It lies south of Asia and India and separates East Africa from Australia. The Indian Ocean is also the warmest ocean in the world. 
The range of temperature for the Indian Ocean is between 66 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean is also called the Antarctic Ocean, South Polar Ocean, or Austral Ocean. It is located at the South Pole. The Southern Ocean is the fourth largest or second smallest of the oceans. It covers only 6% of the Earth's surface. The Southern Ocean is the youngest ocean because it was formed only 30 million years ago when South America and Antarctica moved apart. The Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is located at the North Pole near Europe, Asia, and North America. It is the smallest and shallowest of the world's oceans. It covers less than 3% of the Earth's surface. The Arctic Ocean gets its name from the word Arctos, which means bear in Greek. The Arctic Ocean is also the coldest ocean on Earth. For most of the year, the Arctic Ocean is covered in ice. Hooray! That was a fun trip. We learned everything about the world's oceans. What oceans have you seen? Hey, Sprouts. Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's count faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's say it again, but even faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today, we're learning about the continents of the world. Continents are huge land masses that are separated by the waters of our oceans. There are seven continents on our planet, and they are Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Europe, North America, South America, and Australia or Oceania. Asia. Asia is the world's biggest continent by land size. More people live in Asia than anywhere else in the world. Around 60% of the people on Earth live in Asia. The Yangtze River is the third longest river in the world. The Gobi Desert is the largest desert in Asia and the fifth largest desert in the world. This desert can get so cold that it sometimes snows. Africa. Africa is the world's second biggest continent by land. It also has the second most people living on it. There are 54 countries in Africa, the most on any continent. The Sahara in Northern Africa is the largest and hottest desert in the world. The longest river in the world, the Nile River, is also in Africa and it flows through 11 countries. North America. North America is the third biggest continent in the world by land size. By population, it's the fourth largest. North America is home to the longest land border in the world, which is shared between Canada and the United States. The world's largest island, Greenland, is also located on the American continent. Australia. Australia is the world's smallest continent and the second least amount of people living on it. The word Oceania is also used to describe the 14 countries in this region. Some of the countries included are Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, 
and some of Indonesia. South America. South America is the world's fourth biggest continent by land and the world's fifth largest by population. South America is home to many things. The longest mountain range, the Andes Mountains, the highest waterfalls, the Angel Falls, and the driest place on earth, the Atacama Desert in Chile. Europe. Europe is the second smallest country by land size, but is the world's third most populated continent. Europe is home to more than 10% of the world's people. The European continent contains 50 countries. The smallest country in the world, Vatican City, is also in Europe. Antarctica. Located at the South Pole, Antarctica is an island surrounded by the Southern Ocean. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent by land size. It has no permanent population and no countries. Antarctica is used as a scientific base. Hooray! We learned about all the continents of our planet. What continents have you been to? Hey Sprouts, let's see our ABCs. A B C D E F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, Y, Z. Good job, Sprouts. Let's say it again. And faster this time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today we are learning about animals and their habitats. Habitats of a natural home or environment of an animal, plant or other organisms. Let's help these animals find their homes. In the desert or in the wetlands? Where does the camel live? Yes, the camel lives in the desert. Where does the swan live? The swan lives in the wetlands. Where does the scorpion live? Yes, the scorpion lives in the desert. Where does the gecko live? Gecko lives in the desert. Where does the heron live? Yes, the heron lives in the wetland. Where does the vulture live? Vulture lives in the desert. Where does the frog live? Yes, the 
frog lives in the wetlands? Where does the duck live? Yes, the duck lives in the wetlands. Where does the cobra live? Yes, the cobra lives in the desert. Where does the fish live? Yes, the fish lives in the wetlands. Hooray! You helped all the animals find their homes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time.